Hello, this is Steve Van Skyke from Nextivity, and if you recall from our first video, we talked about the Quattra installation process where during the site survey we determined the best place to put the donor antennas and that was critical because the best signal you can get into the system will mean better service coming out of the system and please do visit the webinar section you'll find a webinar called Selfie Quattro Antenna Selection. Look at the bottom of our webpage for the link called webinars and you'll find it. And that's good information about both choosing a site and then how to select antennas and aim them later on. But in this video we're actually going to aim the antennas because we assume that they've been installed on the roof at this point. We're going to take our compass up to the roof, we're going to connect it to the cables um, to the antennas and we're actually going to take antenna measurements to make sure they're aimed in the right directions for each operator. Okay, at this point in the installation process, I have installed my donor antennas at the optimum place that was figured out during the site survey. And I've also swapped out the vertical polarization mount for the 45 degree polarization mount that comes in the box. It's just yet another trick to improve your signal to noise ratio. I've connected the main port on compass to that one antenna and I'm going to go through all of these different positions. Now if I find that the same position of course is optimum for multiple carriers then I'll be able, multiple operators, then I'll be able to split the feed to, to uh, multiple operators down at the network unit. Now as you can see um, from the Wave app I am going to select antenna positioning and I've already done some of the positions already and all I need to do is select an additional position here and I don't, I'll just test as many positions as, uh, as warranted and then I'm going to use the information that Compass provides to aim each antenna. So in this case I am looking at uh, AT&T and band 4 is preferred. That's a little asterisk next to it. And I can see that position 4 has a score of 84.9 and it's ranked number 1. So that apparently is the best position to aim my antenna for band 4 for AT&T. But I can see that uh, second rank is position 3, which the score is pretty close. So it looks like I could do either 3 and 4 for band 2 on AT&T. Now if I select band 25, I noticed that band 5 or 4 appear to be in the running. Well, 4 seems to be the same for band 4, uh, position 4 seems to be the same for band 4 and band 25. Let's take a look at band 12 as well. And I notice that also position 4 is the favored position for band 12. Then I can go down, I can check first net antennas. I can go look at, of course, all the other carriers, the other operators, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select the different bands and look at the information about which antenna positions are best for each operator. Now you can of course share a donor antenna with multiple network units. If you do so, we recommend a donor input level of minus 90 dBm RSRP um, on your channels at the network unit on the downlink. This is strictly to try to maximize uplink performance actually. We of course have 100 dB of gain on the uplink, but we want to account for the additional losses in the passive hardware connecting you to your antenna. So the system will certainly operate at levels below minus 90 dBm input. You just might see a reduction in those uplink data rates and so this is a way to avoid that. Okay, at this point we should be done with the installation and optimization of our system. And I'm going to spot check by walking around the building with my phone. Maybe I'll run an app off of the phone or I'll use Compass to take measurements and run some speed tests, make phone calls and make sure that service is exactly what I expect. And we're done. For more information and resources, please visit our support tab at selfie.com or scroll to the bottom of the page and find the webinars link where you will find the Selfie Quattro antenna selection video. Thank you very much.